Well, hello. Welcome back once again, my lovely peoples. Today, I thought I'd jump on. I'm sorry, I look ridiculous, but I promise it'll make sense. Very shortly, I decided I'd jump on the following somebody else's tutorial bandwagon, and I thought there is no point me doing a beauty makeup. So I decided I'd go more the special effects route, but a little bit of a mix with a beauty look, because you gotta be a little bit out of your comfort zone, right? I feel like that's the whole point, is to do something that you don't think you can probably do. So I thought I'd go with the incredible Mikey, aka Glam and Gauze look. I decided I'd go with the cut crease, like literal cut crease look that she's done. It was wildly popular. I thought, a little bit of blood, a little bit of beauty, let's go for it. Now in her video, she is wearing a beautiful robe, and she does have like a Called a turby towel? I don't know, it's the one that you just tuck your hair up in. I don't have one. I just do it like this when I get out of the shower. So this is what I'm I'm gonna be dealing with right now. It looks like I have a doll, like a plastic doll hair ponytail going on. Which I'm not mad about in all honesty. So to start off with her video, she does have a full face kind of already going on. Actually I don't know if she does have foundation, but her eyes and her brow are already done. So I thought I'd save you guys the hassle of watching me stuff on my face for a little bit longer and just jump right in. I feel like at the reflection of my ring light I look like a robot and I love it. So let's pull up her tutorial somewhere over here for you and let's get started. Probe and I have a turban towel on my head. Okay so I'm gonna go in with just a dark shadow which is a blatant light because I'm using a contour palette. So I'm just going to go in with the darkest shade on this. Might I add, I've never done a cut crease before, so this is going to be enlightening for the both of us. Step 1. Draw your crease line using a dark shadow or gel liner. I feel like the trick is you need to go above where your eye folds, which is great for me because I have no eyelids. <laughs> it's not helping. I have no eyelids when, my eyes, when I open my eyes. I'm looking down, sure. Up, no. I think I'm happy with that. It's very rough, but... The only important thing here is that you make sure that the line is dark enough, that way you don't lose it through the next two steps. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. Okay. I'm going to change it up a bit. I used a fluffy crease brush and my Skin Illustrator Zombie Palette, but I would not recommend using Skin Illustrator for this. Mike, you're gonna put a tutorial out there, people are gonna do it. And I feel like putting alcohol this close to my eye is a terrible idea. But for you, Mike, I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I do not have the zombie one, but I have the FX Small Onset Palette and my huge I grabbed the glycerin, not the 99% alcohol. Speaking of which, oh, it's over here. The 99% alcohol. Silly me. Glycerin would have been a gloopy old mess. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the bruise tone on this and hope that it's the right colour. Now I am taking my little NYX smudgy brush. I want to see how this goes. I've never used makeup brushes, like proper makeup brushes. <gasps> Oh god, I got alcohol everywhere. Ah, uh, help. Look how full it is. Uh, let's take some of that out, shall we? Put it over here. Oh, got it all over my legs. Okay, so I'm mixing the blues to blues. Wow, the bruise tone and the aged blood tone. Click here. We will get the gist just by watching me do it here. Oh, girl, slow down. Don't be afraid to do the bruise pretty dark because once you put the blood over top of everything, it's gonna end up looking really light anyway. I went back and did the bruise over again once I laid the blood down because it looked way too light in comparison. Ooh, my turby towel! <laughs> there we go. 
step three, scab blood. I'm using Ben Nye scab blood because okay. it's awesome. Ooh, I've grabbed the thick blood. I think she's using fresh blood though. Give me a sec. I got it. An itty bitty palette knife. It is delicious. Ooh, palette knife. I got one. Found it. I feel like Mike and I are in a sleepover right now and we're just doing each other's makeup. Having fun. Oh, sorry, I think I'm out of focus. Having fun, you know. And then I'm laying that down over the line that we drew in step one. What the hell? Ooh, maybe that's too much. Mikey, girl, help! You don't want it to be even. You want it to have some chunky spots and some thinner spots. Because cuts don't always scab evenly, you know? You want it to look gross. We're not going for pretty here. Okay, I definitely, oop, do not open my eye. A lot more scab blood. Mikey, how do you make this look so good? So easy, it's not. We're gonna mix it, make it a little bit more pliable. Okay, that is our one done. I actually don't think I've done quite as a bad job as I thought I might have. Probably should have brought the bruising to the front a little bit more, but other than that, it's not too bad. I'm gonna do the other eye. I'll be back. Okay, good. This was surprisingly easier than I thought. Now, I will admit they're not 100% even, but well, there we have it, guys. That is the finished look. And I feel ridiculous holding my head in this position to say my outro, but I'm gonna zoom you out. So, there we have it, guys. That is my my attempt at Glam and Gore's cut crease. Literal cut crease, I should say. I don't think I did a too bad of a job. I will admit she did make it look a little bit easier to apply the scab blood, but other than that, it was a pretty simple and straightforward tutorial. I had an absolute blast filming this. So if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to try and see me follow, leave them in the comment section below. Doesn't matter what it is, if you want to see me have a go at a beauty makeup, you want to see me try an absolute rip snorter of, an, of a gold look, leave it down there and I will get back to you and try and get around to filming it. So until next time, bye!